my heart attack felt like a real dull ache of a toothache in my chest, but it was a radiating pain, and you know, a, a pain that aggravates you. I asked my sister, what does a heart attack feel like? I told her that I was really afraid, that I wanted her to take me to the hospital. We called the family. My husband thought I was kidding, and we ended up at the emergency room five minutes later. When I got there, they gave me my bracelet, took me into the emergency room. They hooked me up to the EKG machine. The next thing I know, in through the door comes Doogie Hauser with my EKG results. And it was kind of scary when I saw what was going on because my husband's had heart problems and I've seen enough EKGs to know, you know, that I was having a problem. The doctor told me not to worry. He told me that they could do the procedure right here at Carroll Hospital Center and that University Hospital has sent a team up here to work with Carroll Hospital Center to do stents, cardiac cath, whatever needs to be done right here in the county instead of having to run to the city or somewhere to one of the specialty hospitals to have a stent put in. The minute that he said that, the whole place went from blue scrubs to burgundy scrubs. They prepped me for the angioplast and that's when I met Tony and the ladies or the angels in the cath lab. I don't think that I was in the cath lab more than 30 minutes, maybe 35 at the most, because it was so quick. The minute that they found out, you know, that I needed help, they were like right there. They they stripped me down, hooked me up, and I mean, I was gone. At one point, they zapped me, and I told them that, damn, that really hurt, don't do it again. And I remember saying that to them. After the procedure and everything was over, Dr. Gupta said that he wanted to show me just what he had done and what had happened while I was, while I was in the cath lab. He showed me a picture of my heart and where the blockage and everything was, and then he showed me a picture of after the fact. It looked like a map that had a river that had all the tributaries and everything that came out from it. And you could see how it was closed and then after the procedure, it was, it was open and everything was working again. It was amazing. It was like, okay, can I go home now? Because I didn't have any pain left and you know, I, I was thinking, okay, I'll be here overnight and then they'll let me go home because I was, I was fixed. I was given a second chance to make a difference and, you know, everyone has a purpose in life and, you know, it may just be someone's friend, it may be a really great mother, or it may be doing like the doctors do, having healing hands, but I really believe in what's happening with the hospital and it's very important that we all take care of the hospital and support the hospital.